Greetings to you all and welcome to Good Day Twitter. It's another day to look at indices. So this is indices which involves um, equations. So we have question one to be eight into bracket four exponent x equals thirty two. We also have two exponent two brackets open x minus three equal to one. And option three question three is two exponent x bracket open x minus three equal to one and four. And we have the last question to be two exponent two x minus five bracket open two exponent x plus four equal to zero. So for each question we have what options, right? So this is what we are going to do. For every equation, we are going to group all the values and the variables on our left hand side so that our result will be equal to zero. So for example, taking question one, um, for example, if we have two x, this is an example. If you have two x, um, is equal to six, and you have been given options a to be two, b to be three, and c to be one. This is what you are going to do. You are going to group all the values and the variables on your left hand side so that your result will be equal to zero. So it is going to be two x. Then you bring the six to the left hand side, so minus six. So there is nothing here, so it means equal to zero, right? Okay. So we are going to um, substitute each of the options in place of what the x. If we get our answer to be zero, it means that particular option is what correct. So we have the first option to be two. So we say two. First of all, just type the um, question or input the question. So two, then x minus what six, right? So we are going to insert the options. When you press on this, they will ask you for the value of x. So just input what the first option, which is two. So two equal to there is the answer. So it means when you substitute two into this equation you are going to get negative two but we want what zero so it means this option is wrong so let's look at option b we press on the same um key then we insert what three we press on equal to and now our answer is equal to what zero so this one becomes our answer is that okay so this is what we are going to do for all the questions but you are going to try question three so for the first question let's input the question which is eight into bracket four exponent x then this is positive 32 so when it crosses the cosine it becomes negative 32 right okay so you press on this key now they are asking for the value of x so th these are all values of x but we want the correct one the one that when you substitute with x you are going to get zero so the first option is two so let's press on two equal to the answer is 96 so it means the first option is wrong so we do same we press on this key now we go for one right and the one is giving us what zero so it means the answer for this question is what? Option B, right? So you go for option B. Then, because let's say if you have, if you have eight into bracket four X equal to 32, you divide here by 8, you divide here by 8, so you have 4 exponent x is equal to, now 8 goes into 32 4 times, so you have 4, and with the law of indices, if the bases are the same, you pick what, you equate the exponent, so since the bases are the same, there is exponent 1 here, so 
we cancel the basis then we take the exponent so x is equal to what one right so that is why you are getting this okay. let's look at um option sorry question two let's also input the question on the calculator which is two exponent two bracket open x sorry x minus three you close your bracket then this is one right so when it comes to the left hand side it is going to be minus one okay so now that you are done with the question you press on this key so we are now going to insert what the uh, options so this is three and for uh, option a which is three we are getting what is zero so zero is our final answer and that is what we are looking for so we are no more going to do it for the rest of the options we will just take this as our final answer right or in order to also solve it you have to like this equal to one right so this one you need to make the basis the same so that you pick the exponent and you know any number um, one any number exponent zero is equal to what one right so we see two exponents two let's expand the bracket here so that we will get two x minus six equal to now this one can be two exponent zero right because any number exponent zero is one now that the bases are the same we cancel them and we pick the exponent so we have two x minus six equal to zero two x is equal to six two two so our x is equal to what three